Hello and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to attempt to do just that and crack a cryptic crossword that's come heavily recommended to me from the Independence crossword editor, Mike Hutchinson. Now, this is a puzzle by Rodriguez, uh, which is, uh, well, a constructor I, I not known to me, um, but apparently this is a very unusual puzzle and I have no clue why. We will have to discover that together. Um, Okay, I think I have made the window the right size. This appeared last Saturday. Um, and where should we start? Let's have a look at the clue that is indeed highlighted. Inflate a price to tour England's capital. Okay, I can do that. Um, the way I've got that is sort of short synonyms. So uh, I read the clue as meaning inf inflate. So we need a synonym for inflate. This A is quite interesting. Think about why that A is in the clue. It's only there because it's necessary, because in fact it is the first letter of the answer. We need a four letter word for price, and that needs to tour, it needs to surround the capital, England's capital letter, which is its E. Now if we do that properly, a short synonym for price is rate. Put the E in the middle, we get air rate, which is to inflate. A uh, warm area of hard ground. Ah, well okay, that's Hard has an abbreviation H, you might see that on pencils. A five letter word for ground, beginning with E, that's just earth, and a warm area is a hearth, so we're off and running here. Mostly silk, product from France. Uh, ah, okay, so this, <laughs> I was thinking of silk as in um, a fabric, but silk can also be the name um, for a sort of barrister um, and a synonym for a barrister is a brief. If we have most of the word brief, we get brie, which is a product from France, of course, the cheese. Jolly delicious it is. After joint, do giggle. Not sure. Uh, three down. Soviet policeman breaking sticks off. Good grief, I've got no clue what that is. Uh, let's try four down. Ah, see, 501. I'm immediately thinking the Roman numeral for 501, which is DI. So I bet this starts DI. Stars producing records. Right, so when you see stars here, I'm thinking of the name of constellations. And in fact, there is the constellation of Aries. Um, and if you put Aries on the end of DI, you get diaries, which are records. Let's try and use the I. Ruling party, that's gonna be in probably. Uh, on the left, around south, is supported uncommonly in on the left. I'm not actually sure what that is. That could be completely wrong, this in. Let's try five down. Innovator in camp up and about. Well, <laughs> innovator, if you see it in a crossword, for some reason it is very often Edison who of course was very famous as an inventor. And this indeed is Edison because camp, if you're in a camp, you're, you're in a side on one side or the other. Uh, so camp up is just a reversal of the word side and about, if something's about something, it's on it. So put all that together, we get Edison and we get an N at the start of 14 across. Um, treated ailing ruminant in Asia. Oh gosh, this is some horrible anagram. I want to say, ni oh, is it Nigali or something like that? That could be complete nonsense. Ooh. <laughs> Nigali is what first came into my mind. I th well, let's imagine that's a G. Does that do anything for us. Invalid or invalid felt sicker having come out in most spots. Something like blotchiest or... Mm, I don't know. I'm not convinced by my G now either. Let's try seven down. Father has, in, has something inherited with value. Right, something inherited you inherit your genes. And the value, if you value something, you rate it. 
put all that together, you get gene rate. Say it a bit differently, you get generate, and if you father something, you generate it. Oh, so <laughs> oh, nil guy. Yes, I've, I have heard of that. Nil guy. That is something. I don't know what it is, but it's a word. And anything that's an anagram of ailing that isn't ailing itself is probably correct. Nil guy. So what was, is this, oh, this is the most spots one. Oh, I don't know. Uh, 11 across. Um, extremely knavish career by communist playing the communist reformer. What on earth is that talking about? Extremely knavish, knavish makes me think of the extreme letters of the word knavish, which would be K A. Oh, is this Khrushchev? I never know how to spell that. But this is the advantage of cryptic crosswords. Sometimes it gives you, because it gives you wordplay, career, cr rush, crush, Khrushchev then, is it? By communist. Playing the communist. The communist could be Che Guevara. Extremely knavish, knavish, KH. Career, you rush by communist playing. Is it, oh, I see. It is. It's Che Guevara for the communist. And then if you're playing, you, you might put versus V. So Liverpool v Man United would be Liverpool playing Man United. So I think it's Christian. That was That's really difficult. Um, and it gives us a K in that one. Oh, gosh. Is this some Soviet policeman? Oh, no. I don't know it if it is. Uh, oh, let's try and get 12 across. I need to think the French paper. That's probably Le Monde. The French papers dropped one pair of Europeans. I need to think. Let me see. That's got l, l at the start of it, so the French. Oh, it is this. It is let me see. I've spotted why. Okay, why is it let me see? L is the in French. The a paper is the Times. And you can see Times has dropped one. It's dropped its I, its Roman numeral for the number one. And then a pair of Europeans is a pair of abbreviation for the word European, which is E. So E-E -E at the end, let me see, means I need to think. And we get an M at the start of 13 down. Element sculpted with art in lintel. Looks like an anagram of element and art to me. That would give us 10 letters. Lintel. Ooh. Don't know. Don't, they're not jumping out at me. Puts forward large packaging deal. Don't know. Sorry. A 17 across province that's eight steps behind India. Eight steps. Eight. St I'm thinking of words like octet here and octal. Don't know. 17 down, sorry. Diddly squat or zero is round number in PK. Oh, well, that is a very unusual hidden. If you look inside diddly squat or zero, there is the word cattors, which I think is 14 in French. Now, I don't play PK, so I have no idea what cattors is in relation to the game of PK, but that gives me a Z here. Um, Content or content to leave Zimbabwe with oh this is zealot okay if the content leaves the word Zimbabwe you get rid of it the central letters the I M B A B W so you just get left with Z A E and that goes with a lot which means many and that gives us of course a fanatic so it's a zealot let's try that one uh, unknown fish bone oh this is x-ray unknown yeah in mathematics an, un an, un an unknown might be x uh, you might dy by dx etc you see it in a lot of equations a fish is a ray an x-ray is certainly something which may make bones appear so lots of weird start letters here q z and x axes or axes by stone portico in greece I think this is Zeist. 
if you're on a graph, you might see the X and the Y axes. That's so that X, Y, an abbreviation for stone, as in the stone of weight, is ST. And Zeist means something. It must mean a portico in Greece. I can't, I can't be sure about that, but I know it's a word. So that's good enough. Um, child under six. Well, six is probably VI for the Roman numeral for six. Framing current. Well, current, as in Ohm's law, is V equals I R. So this is vision. It's V I and then sun for child. Whoopsie around current I. And of course, an image is uh, a vision. Now let's look at 21 across. Doctor cut a vein. That's going to be an anagram of cut a vein. That's eight letters. And doctor, of course, means if you doctor something, you fiddle with it. You uh, you change it around. It's not working. Inactive? No. Unactive? Is it? Unactive, I think. I need to use the U. Um, that's why inactive is probably not right. Um, so there we go. We can put that in. What's six down? Oh, this is my spots one. Invalid felt sicker. Oh, it's an anagram. Freckliest. Yes. <laughs> it's an anagram of felt sicker. Um, and if you come out in the most spots, you are the freckliest. So we can put that in. Freckliest. What's that? Oh, province will be Quebec. Eight. Oh, OK. This is the international radio code words for the letters. So um, India is the code word for I. You've probably heard of Romeo and Juliet. You know, Romeo is R. Juliet is J. Um, and Q, I'm pretty sure, is Quebec. Uh, so it's the international radio code word for Q. And Q is indeed eight letters behind the ninth letter, which is I. So, yeah, and it appears coincidentally at clue number 17. Oh, good grief. I've just spotted the, I've just spotted the theme here. I should have spotted it earlier because look along the top row of the grid. A, B, something. I'm guessing C, D, E, F, G. But look, I just noticed that Q was the 17th letter and was appearing in, in, this, let, in this cell here, which has a 17 in it. Now look around the grid. Every clue, this is the 8th letter, which is H. This is the 9th letter, which is I. The 11th letter is K, so this should begin with J, which is the 10th letter. Let's see. Yes, it is. After joint, which can be abbreviated to J, if you do someone, you ape them, if you copy them. Um, you might say to a you know an impressionist, do so-and-so, do the queen, and they would ape the queen. So, And of course, a jape is a giggle. So now we're going to actually be able to write in all the start letters, I think, for the rest of the puzzle. So that's a C, which might help me with my Soviet policeman. 15 is O. 19 is S. Uh, that's W, I think. Uh, 23, that must be Y. This is some construction as well. That's going to be R. That's going to be T. And now the puzzle should get a lot easier. Where should we go? Let's go with a W ending in O. Which person arrests attendant moving ecstasy in novel? Westwood Ho is a novel. So why is this Westwood Ho? Which person is who arrests attendant? Oh, that's lovely. Steward is an attendant and we've moved its ecstasy, its E, um, to give Westwood Ho, which is a novel. That's very nice. Now let's look at that one. R U blank D. Fish hearts, but not hat. Could be articles or rudders, presumably. Why is it rudders? Fish hearts, but not hat. Hearts, but not. Oh, that's very difficult. Right. There is a fish called a rud, R U double D. And then if you look at the word hearts and you remove the word hat from it, the H, the A, and the T, you get left with E-R-S, which is E-R-S. And of course, rudders are articles on boats. I'm glad I got that R, because that would not have been an easy clue. Now, we should be able to get this one now. What's this? Nine across, ruling party that on the left, 
around south. It's probably got an S in it then. So that S is going to have to go there, if that's right. Is support... Oh, oh, endorsed then, is it? So it's a funny spelling of endorsed. Ruling party. Oh, if you're ruling, you're in. Oh, I see, yeah. If you're ruling, you're in. A party is a do. If you're on the left, you're a red. <laughs> and that goes around an S for south. And in, that all gives endorsed, which means supported uncommonly. Not easy. Now, three down. Are we, we going to risk our Soviet policeman? Soviet policeman breaking sticks off. Well, it could be an anagram of sticks around he for a man, maybe. So that would have to be, that one needs to be a vowel. Czechists, are they Soviet policemen? Oh, Soviet police, I see, Czechists, so it can be the plural. I've not heard of that, but it could be. It looks like a sort of Russian word, doesn't it? Um, right, what's 15 across? Puts forward. Oh, large is oversize or outsize, which is abbreviation to OS, look. Packaging deals. We need a word for deal. Inside puts forward. A pines. A pine. Okay, so it's deal not as in trade, but as in a tree. Uh, a deal is a name for a tree. And it must be a pine tree, although I didn't know that. Um, pro wrestling with medal for a prize. Oh, I didn't put in this start letter. I could have had that P. Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, well, this is the anagram of pro and medal. And it means a prize. And it's therefore a palm door. I can do that. Probably glad I had the start because the D apostrophe OR is not easy to see otherwise. Now, we must be able to get this. Beginning Y-O. Vocalist, yodeler, or one sh one shouting as a yeller after swallowing too many drugs. Well, you have an overdose, you OD on something. So it is yodeler. Let's look at that one. Dogs are we here wearing formal evening attire? Tails of formal evening attire. Oh, yeah, okay, this isn't a clever clue. So it means dogs. And if you dog somebody, you trail them. R we hear is a homophone for the word R. So R sounds like the letter R, which is just what we put in the middle. And we get trails. So let's look at that. Let's guess what this is before we put it in. I think it is... Ah, <laughs> can't see anything. What is it? Oh, most scheming, it's slyest then, is it? To get agreement... Yes, okay, to get agreement, an agreement is a yes, accepted by special... Officer S for special lieutenant or lieutenant, depending on how you like to pronounce that, is LT around the yes. And we've only got one more clue to do. Oh, it's the anagram of element and art, and it means lintel. Mantle tree, I think. A lintel is a tree. Or one of its definitions is a tree, I'm pretty sure. I can get tree. Oh! Well, I've done it. There we go. It, it says it's correct. Now, let's just go back now and admire what Rodriguez has, um, has done here. This is really very clever to construct a puzzle where there are exactly 26 starting letters, which means he's had to, or he or she has had to double, you know, this Q, for example, does double duty and an across and down in order in the correct places so that each is numbered appropriately along with their letter of the alphabet. That is really, really beautiful. I'm not so sure I've seen that before and I have the feeling that's incredibly hard to do. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. Love it. Um, which was my favourite clue? There were quite a few difficult clues. Um, I liked Christoph mainly because it was so complicated. Um, I quite liked Quebec and the idea behind that as well. Westwood Ho was clever. Who around Stewart moving the E. Um, yeah, there's a lot to admire here. There really is. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a go. Um, there should be a link under the video. Hopefully you found it in order to play the puzzle. And yeah, we'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Mm -hmm.